This video is a guide to help you submit your troop's annual finance report. In order to be able to submit this report, you must be a troop leader, an assistant troop leader, or a troop treasurer. Before we get started, remember that troop financial reports are due on May 31st of every year. To help you submit your report, here are some important tips and reminders. And before you start, clear your cache and try to use Chrome if possible. And we suggest you have the following documents in front of you. A copy of your troop's April 2022 bank statement, and a co completed copy of your troop finance log, and the last four digits of your troop's bank account. So let's begin. To access your troop financial report, go to our council website and log into the MyGS. Open the Volunteer Toolkit. And then click on the Finance tab. Now before we move on, just a quick note. If you are a troop leader, an assistant troop leader, or a troop treasurer for more than one troop, be sure you select the correct troop you are submitting the report for. So in this box up here, there should be a drop down menu if you are more in more than one troop. Today, in my example, I am going to be submitting for troop 2173, so I am going to select it. Once I select it, it is automatically going to take me to the year plan tab. And so to get back to the finance report, I will just click on finances. Now, the troop financial report is divided into six sections income, expenses, financial summary bank information, council notes and questions, and document upload. So here's the first section. Section one is the income. In the income section, you'll be asked to input the amount of money your troop received in the following categories. Troop dues, fall product sale deposits, cookie program deposits, donations, money earning activities, and any other income. Here is where your troop finance log will come in handy. I have an example one open here for my example troop. If you use one of our spreadsheets here at the top, we have everything split out for you for the income and the expense. So I'm going to look at my income categories here to see if I had any troop dues, fall product program deposits, cookie deposits, donations, money earning activities, or other income. And then looking here, I can see that I had a $30 cookie deposit and a $65 other income. So I will go back to my finance reports and enter those amounts in. So cookie program deposit was $30 and other income was $65. Now it asks to explain what the other income is. And so you will just click on this, add a note on troop income. It is optional, but um, any notes is super helpful for the council staff who is reviewing this. So I'm actually gonna go back to my true finance log and look down here on my entry. For this uh, other income, the reason for this was a reimbursement from two parents. So I'm actually going to just copy this note here, go back to my finance report and paste it right in. Section two is expenses. In the expense section, you'll be asked to input the amount of money your troop spent in the following categories. Any 2021, 2022 membership fees, uniforms, badges, patches, troop supplies, trips and council events, camp fees covered for the troop or any of the girls, community service projects or any fall product ACH withdrawal, cookie ACH withdrawals and other expenses. So same thing with the income. I am going to go back to my troop finance log and look at my expense category box up here. And I did have one expense. It was $25 for membership fees. So I will go back to my finance report and up in membership fees, enter $25. 
Now, if I didn't have anything else here, or if I did have more expenses, I can click on tab or use my mouse to click into the box. Once you click outside of any of those boxes, the total expense will um, automatically calculate here. Section three is the financial summary. This section will auto-populate once you enter your starting balance. New troops will have a starting balance of zero dollars. If this is not your troops first year, your starting balance should match the ending balance you reported in the 2020-2021 troop finance report. And so um, that should be here in your troop finance log. Uh, so my starting balance is $30 in $30 here and then it automatically calculated um, with my income and expenses to find that my ending balance at the end of April 30th 2022 is $100 now to verify that this is where your April 2022 bank statement comes in handy you want to make sure your ending balance here matches the April bank statement. And here I have a sample bank statement with my ending balance um, as of April 30th, 2022 of $100. The next section here, section four, is the bank information. Please provide the name of your bank, the branch name if applicable, the last four numbers of your troop's bank account, and the names of the adult members who are authorized signers on the account. Remember that the authorized signers on the troop's bank account must be currently registered members with a completed and eligible background check. So here I will enter my bank's name. Now, my bank does not have a branch name, but this is a required box to fill out. So I will just put not applicable or NA. Then the last four digits of my troops bank account. And here I will enter the authorized signers names. If you happen to have more than two signers, you can certainly add another signer here. Or if your troop happens to have another bank account, you can also add it here. I would say the majority, if not all, of our troops have only one bank account. All right, section five, council notes and questions for troops. So in this section, um, please tell us about these details, such as what is your troop planning for next year? Are you planning to return, merge with another troop, uh, disbanding, or if you are not sure? In my example here, troop 2173 will be returning next year. Um, enter your troop service unit name and number if you know it. If you do not know it, you can certainly leave it blank or put NA. Now here, the next three questions are required, so they must be answered. The first question is, does your troop have Girl Scout cookies that have not been sold yet? And if so, how many cases are left over? If you do not have any cases left over, you can simply put none or zero. In my example, I will put none. Uh, in the next box, the question is, did you or will you have any additional cookie program deposits made after April 30th? If so, how much? So this is if you collected any additional money, but it was already after April 30th, then this is where you will put the amount. So in my example, I'll say we collected $60, which will be deposited on May 1st. And finally, please let us know the first and last name of the person who acts as the troop treasurer for this troop. Now, I am the troop treasurer for troop 2173 here, so I will just enter my name. All right, finally, uh, preview and add attachments. So as you can see, this box here is green uh, to go on to the next step. If you missed entering anything above here, this box will actually be grayed out. If it is grayed out, it means you missed something, so you just have to go back and check and make sure you enter. Um, if it is green like this, that means you are good to go to the next step. So we will click on it. 
And here is a preview of your Truth Financial Report as the council will see it. So this is where you want to double check and make sure you have entered everything in correctly. Um, refer back to your true finance log and your April 2022 bank statement if anything seems off. Otherwise, if everything matches, you can certainly scroll down all the way to the bottom here where you will click add attachments and send to council. So this is where you will add your supporting documents, which again are the troop finance log and the April 2022 bank statements. Click on attach a document. And I'm going to attach my bank statement first, and then I will click attach a document again and add my troop finance log. It's giving me an error maybe because I have this open, so I'm going to close that really quick. And there we go. All right, so then the final step will be to submit it. Just some quick notes. Once you hit submit, you will no longer be able to make changes to your Troop Financial Report. After you click submit, you will receive an email with a copy of your submitted report to keep with your Troop files. Um, if for some reason you are unable to attach your supporting documents, please reach out to your membership engagement coordinator and they will direct you on how to send your supporting documents to the council to be included with your troops financial report. All right, so again, all you have to do is click submit now. And that's it. Once again, if you have any questions or if you need any help with anything, please reach out to your membership engagement coordinator or please call the council. And again, we want to thank you very much for being a volunteer with Girl Scouts of the Northwestern Great Lakes. And thank you for everything you do for Girl Scouting.